Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be to Christ. Christ. Slavi Jesus Christ. Slavi be Welcome to Door Mission Parish. Today is Sunday, August 2nd, and I'm glad all of you are joining us. Let's pray. Come, my friends, with faith and gladness, bow before the altar. Come and worship God our Father, though through sin we falter. Come and worship God our Father, though through sin we falter. Offer Without change you became man. 
Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When you rose from the tomb, you raised the dead and resurrected Adam. Eve exalts in your resurrection, and the ends of the world celebrate your rising from the dead, O most merciful one. Now and forever and ever. Amen. To you, O Mother of God, the invincible leader, we, your servants, ascribe these victory hymns, and thanksgiving for our deliverance from evil. With your invincible power, free us, free us from all dangers, that we may cry out to you. Hail, O bride and pure virgin. For you are God, our holy, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. O holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. O holy God, holy and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. Now if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will become visible, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. If what has been built on the foundation survives, the builder will receive a reward. If the work is burned up, the builder will suffer loss. The builder will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells within you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. Peace be with your reader. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Glory be to you. Let us listen with attention. At that time, immediately after he had made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds, and after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them, and early in the morning he came walking towards them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear, but immediately Jesus spoke and said to them, and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come and walk to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked, started walking on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why do you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret. be to Jesus Christ. In today's epistle, we hear very clearly that you and I are the temple of God. We are called to be the dwelling place where God does miraculous and wonderful things. And this is further proven when Peter went out on the water. He showed that we as human beings are the places where miraculous things can be. We just have to have our eyes firmly focused on God. When we start to doubt, that's of course when we're going to fall. So let's all do our best and keep God within us and keep God before us. And if we do this, then we'll be who we created to be. Let us all say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say, Pass for the poor men, Father, and mothers, we pray for your rest and have mercy. Pass for the poor men, Oh.
With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us be attentive to offering peace, the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Mother 
strength to do the peace in your health for many years and rightly impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in these holy gifts. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you now, 
I place before you my whole life and hope, O loving Master, and I ask, pray, and entreat you, make me worthy to partake in a mystical way and with a pure conscience of your awesome and heavenly mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins, for the pardon of our offenses, for communion of the Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for confidence before you, and not for judgment or condemnation. I embrace you as you enter and abide in me, and I unite myself completely to you. Permeate my soul and body, and never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. This is fetch your lips, cleanse from your iniquities, and save from all of your sins. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. We worship the undivided Trinity for having saved us. Blessed are God. Now and always and forever and ever. Amen. May our mouths be filled with your praise, with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. For you made us worthy to partake of your holy divine, immortal and life giving.